Dr. Joy Irobi Devoda, and I am a scientist from the University of Antwerp in Belgium. And I uh, studied uh, human molecular genetics also at the University of Antwerp. And it has been uh, my major interest and actually a passion to bring back this technology, DNA technology, to Nigeria because I think that we must really need to understand what are the avenues that we can use DNA technology in medical genetics in order to diagnose diseases and help the Nigerians. Can I post to screen for diseases such as sickle cell disease? Uh, because it's not uh, all the people who carry the traits manifest the disease. So we'll be able to counsel people not to marry somebody who also has the traits. You know, so genetic screening can help us to determine those who are predisposed to having the disease. And that information itself can be very useful in preventing the disease. Because then we'll tell them what to avoid in order that they don't come down with the actual disease. And as we are able to uh, carry out, perform uh, genetic diagnosis, it means therefore that we'll be in a better position to provide uh, more informed treatments for disease conditions. DNA technology is just one way. And we are looking at the high incidence of breast cancers that we have in, uh, in, uh, in Nigerian women. So this technology gives us the opportunity, this technology gives the Nigerian women opportunity, especially those people that know that they might have uh, familiar incidences of cancer, like the aunties or, 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 or the mothers have had breast cancer in the past, can now actually come to Lagos University Children's Hospital to actually look for a way to genetically test if they are carriers of BRCA1 or 2 mutations. Another uh, thing is in forensic science because it's indeed we are now in an era where we can use the technology that has been provided by the sequencing of the human genome project to actually understand what are the ways that we can exonerate people from wrong crimes and this is where forensic science comes. The, the, the last one I want to mention is in agriculture because it is an area where I think within Nigeria has not actually been looked at what is the way that DNA technology can actually help boost crop yield in Nigeria. And I think with the aim, yes, with the, with the in the area of uh, genetically modified uh, crops in, uh, uh, in healthcare issues, so I'm talking about genetically modified crops that are healthy, so not the GMOs that are being said not, not to be healthy, but there are ways that you can genetically modify seeds that will allow, allow you to produce higher crops and resistant to bugs.